In this video, we're going to be using Cold River Soapworks Select. This is Jardin de Orange and the Carve Razor with the OCF plate. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using the Carve Razor, and this is the Open Comb F plate, which is fairly efficient. I really like this razor. And of course, the Cold River Soapworks Select. This is Jardin d'Orange, which is a really nice scent. But before we get into that, a couple of announcements, or actually one announcement. Real Talk will be coming up this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Shannon Soaps will be our special guest, Brian and Shannon from Shannon, Shannon Soaps. So if you have any questions you would like me to ask them, please comment below on this video. And again, I hope to see you at 8 p.m. this coming Friday for Real Talk. Okay. Let's get into the soap. So, Cold River Soapworks Select. Great soap, it's been great for a long time. The scent um, strength on this one, I would call it light. It's definitely under medium, but it is noticeable. It is, um, it's a tart orange. Well, actually, let's put the notes for you right there. Tart orange, lemon, and mandarin. It's not super sweet, and it's not super citrusy punchy. Uh, it's rounded, there's almost a, a green sort of vibe to it but it's mostly orange for sure uh, but it's a well-rounded scent and i really like it the ingredients right here uh, cold, River, cold river soaps have been making great soaps for a long time you don't see them as much as you used to but it's not because they aren't good because they are still good the price on this was 16.95 for four ounces or 4.23 on our cost chart there which is a fair price and i look forward to using that today so the razor again is the carve uh, and we're going to be using the feather blade with it today. And you'll see that red mark indicates I've had one shave on this blade already. So let's get right into it. We're just going to use some plain water and mist the face. We have our standard 24 hours growth, which you hopefully you can see there. And we'll wet the face and get going. The brush for today is that darn Rob. Now chisel and hound. And of course, our Captain's Choice bowl. Have a good creamy lather here whipped up today. And I hope you guys are doing great, and gals, of course. Hope everyone is having a great day. I always look forward to coming in here each day and and uh, doing a nice video and sharing my experience with you. That's really what it's all about. I do try things um, that are recommended to me by the viewers, but primarily I want to enjoy my shave. That's really, <laughs> I'm just sharing my enjoyment as I'm enjoying it. Um, and it, this will be enjoyable today. Again, Cold River Sup Works, still good stuff. Still good stuff. And as you can see, I got lather running down the handle there. No problem. I'll rinse it in just a moment. But um, I try not to get too much on my hands because obviously it makes the hands quite slippery. Let me rinse that off right now. Some of the brush, I actually preferred long, longer handled brushes for that reason. is because I do like to make a well hydrated lather and... As I'm painting, it tends to run down some. But I can tell you right now, this lather is going to be very nice and very slick. It is very creamy. Okay, that's good enough. We don't need to worry about that. And spend all day on it. Let's rinse that up a little bit. Put it back in the bowl here. All right, let's get going with our Carve OCF. And you do get some blade feel on the F plate. Now, some people say that's this is far too much for them. And I understand if you fall into that category, I really like the higher plates on Carve. In fact, I found when I first tried Carve some years ago, a couple years ago, I didn't really care for it because I think I had the B and C plates and there wasn't enough blade feel for me. And so um, by upping the ante and Jack from the Virtual Groom Room, I have to always thank him. He sent me a Carve Razor, back when he worked for Carve, uh, as a gift with some more aggressive plates. And then that completely remedied my problem. And it is a smooth shaver for me, even when it's on the aggressive plates. Now, some people report that, you know, some of the higher plates are too much for them. But for me, I really enjoy it. And it really hit the spot. In fact, I did not enjoy it with like B and C, but once we got, you know, E and above, I, I began to really enjoy the razor. It's a well-priced razor. 
comes to you at under $100. Usually it's around $79, the brass version, which is not a, uh, a bad deal. And the plates are usually somewhere around, I wanna say 20 bucks. So it's really not bad, the brass version at least. And the stainless I don't think is crazy expensive either, to tell you the truth. At some point I should pick one up. The, the problem with carve has always been fulfillment and the time it takes to get the razor and people really, really uh, voice a lot of criticism in that realm. And it's one of those things where I completely understand. Um, you know, people, <laughs> people want their gear and they, you know, they want it now. And so I understand that some people have been on wait list for quite some time. And it gets annoying and I get that, but it is a good um, quality razor. Personally, I think it's one that's worth waiting for. Um, especially when you consider it's not uh, priced at a level that is, you know, too high. It's a, what I would consider to be a premium offering for a very budget friendly price. And so I, I really appreciate it especially at the price. It's a smooth shaver and the threading on this, when you thread it, the head, it's got some of the smoothest uh, threading that I've ever experienced on a razor. It's just really wonderful. All right, let's get into pass two here. Uh, Cold River Soapworks, really good stuff. Um, it's been a good quality soap for many, many years. It remains so. And now, of course, they have their glide base, which is very good, but honestly, any of their offerings, I think are gonna hit the quality marks for you. I don't think you're gonna have any quality concerns with the Cold River Soap Works soap. Some people aren't uh, enamored with the the labels because they find them to be plain, but I think they're, I think they're kind of elegant, honestly. For me, they don't bother me at all. I, I think it's it's got everything that you need there on the label. Um, I guess if you're being nitpicky, maybe the name on the soap there would be nice. But uh, for me, it's it's not bad at all. It's well priced for what it is, or it's at least it's fairly priced. Let's put it that way. And it's still one of those soaps that it hangs with the big dogs in terms of quality. It's plenty slick. I think it provides everything you need. And this. Uh, this one here smells great. You know, I love orange scents, but don't think sweet candy orange with this one. Think more natural, almost a little bit of green vibe to it. This is a more natural citrus scent from my perspective. And again, it's called Jardin de Orange or something like that. You know, I can barely, barely speak English, let alone French. Presumably that's French. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's good quality scent and soap nonetheless and i talked to larry probably a uh, month and a half ago month and a half ago and he's still making soaps and he has no plans of going anywhere um his wife had suffered some health issues so he's not able to produce quite as much as he used to but um if you're looking for a particular scent from cold river soap Works, sign up for that um uh, newsletter and uh when he puts out soaps it will send out an email and so you'll be able to grab them. That was also always uh, the complaint that I saw from Cold River. Uh, or often the complaint was, and I'm going against the grain here on pass two. That's all right, we'll go across on pass three, no big deal. Um, the complaint was things were often out of stock. Uh, but sign up for that email list um, and you will, uh, You'll get a notification when he adds stock. I don't think this one is in stock in the select base. I did look and it was available in Glide. So if you're interested in trying Glide and this scent sounds good to you, you can check that out. Nice soap. And I think the select base for me still holds up very, very well. Um, the Glide might be better. I don't know, I've only tried it once, but for me, the select, you know, kind of gives me everything I need personally, but. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> Again, I hope you're all doing well. And I hope you all checked out the uh, the fourth Dome Shave anniversary yesterday. I had a lot of comments on that video. I'll pop it up there somewhere in case you missed it. And I also want to remind you that I've created a uh, playlist for topless 
And some more of those will be coming soon. I'll be having uh, like top Katie's bubble soaps, top Razor Rock soaps, um, top Sterling. You'll, we'll be seeing some more of those. And I've also got some top razors in that list because I did the top 10 single edge razors. My top 10, that is. It's in that list. So if you missed that video, please go check it out. And again, I remind you, um, give, if you want me to ask Brian and, and uh, Shannon from Shannon Soaps any questions during Real Talk, make a comment below and I'll be happy to ask. They are just now getting the attention that they deserve after all these years. And so I'm very happy about that. I've been a long time advocate for the brand because I think it's, you know, I always said it was very underrated. And I think it remains so, even today. However, it is now getting some attention, finally. All right, that was an excellent second pass and we went against the grain. Um, Sometimes I just forget because now I'm used to straight razor shaving and I'll go against the grain and pass two. So now when I bring a DE back, <laughs> I'll start going against the grain and pass two, but it's no big deal. We can alter things on the fly as necessary. So I'll just go across the grain on the cheeks in pass three and that would be no problem at all. And as you can see here, the Cold Weather River Soap Works. Uh, I don't know if you can see the sheen on that. No quality problems. Again, very nice quality soap been around for a long time. Did you guys catch the other day? <laughs> I just thought about this. I love watching uh, Ken Surfs when he puts on alcohol aftershave because he, he has that uh, the face and the Yelp. <laughs> and the other day, I'll show you a picture of it right there. And if you haven't watched Ken Surfs, check him out. He is really a great guy and a nice guy. But anyway, he put on that aftershave. I think he was using PAA. <laughs> and he, he makes that face and it is it is so fun. It's fun for me, you know. And uh, again, I hope you don't take that the wrong way. I'm not making fun of Ken. We're having, you know, we're having fun with. I, I think it's enjoyable to watch and it's fun. But we're certainly not uh, cracking on Ken. So I don't want anybody to, to think I'm, you know, making fun. It seems like when it comes to Ken, like sometimes if you make any sort of comment, people get very sensitive about it. <laughs> You know, because I saw uh, Chris Maiden was doing sort of a a joking tribute, sort of Ken Surf slather. And people got all up in arms. And even Ken said, it's okay. You know, it's it's fun. You know, we're having fun. So try not to, you know, it's it's usually pretty obvious when people taking a shot at someone. And uh, when I do something like this, and when I bring up something like that or show a photo, I'm honoring them and having fun. You know, it's not taking a shot at. And so please don't uh, take that the wrong way. I enjoyed it. I posted that, that photo on Instagram because nobody has as good as an alcohol, has as good of an alcohol burn face than Ken Surfs. <laughs> He's the best in the game at that. And uh, of course we love Ken on my channel. Okay, that's good enough. I could sit there and try to smooth that out all day long, but there's no need. I got a lot, a lot of hydration in this one, probably more even than I need, but it will be just fine, I promise you, uh, because all I need is slickness, and it is slick, and so there is absolutely no problem with slickness, and so we are good to go on that front. Okay, so this time we're going to actually remember to do the right thing and go across the grain on the cheeks. <laughs> because we forgot last pass. Very nice, the feather in the uh, carve here on plate F is, is quite good for me, no problems whatsoever. Feeling nice and smooth, cutting well, and you can see lots of hydration in there. Cutting well, no problems, no bubbles, no troubles, as I like to say. Very slick, the Cold River Soap Works. And again, I probably overhydrated this one a little bit today, but that's okay. No problem. The Carve Razor here on F, I really like it. And I like the open comb. This is probably my second favorite open comb 
Um, and the reason, the comb there is not sharp. They're rounded very, very nicely, and so you don't get any roughness out of it. What I found was over the years using some open comb razors, you could actually feel the teeth and they're semi-sharp and it actually comes off feeling rough. Not the case with the Carve and Timeless also has that excellent um, open comb design too, but this one is also a great open comb because it's nice and rounded. You don't feel any roughness from those teeth, which can't be said of all open comb razors. So if you're thinking about designing, if anybody out there is thinking about designing a razor, make sure you're around those teeth because it will make it feel much more smooth. Oh, very nice. Very nice shave today here with the Cold River Soapworks and the Carve. It's a good pairing, I think. Just very enjoyable. And this is why I like to get up and get in here is just to get the shave on and Enjoy these magnificent soaps and scents, and uh, of course this great razor. And just like that, we've had an excellent shave today. Plenty of residual slickness there from the Cold River Soap Works. Again, I probably overhydrated it today, but it still did the job very, very well. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse. We followed that with the alum. We had that conversation with the alum and the alum had no nothing to say, no stinging. We followed that with the cold water rinse. Then we used our Lancaster towel, padded dry, followed by the Thayer's Witch Hazel Magic, because it's made by witches. Of course, that was really an excellent shave. I really enjoyed it. The Carve Open Comb with, uh, this is the F plate. I don't know if you can see the F, but it's on there somewhere under there. Uh, very, very nice, smooth shaver. I really enjoyed it with Feather Blade on its second use. Cold River Soapworks Select Jardin de Orange. It's still good stuff. Big thumbs up on that. Of course, our TDR, or uh, it's now a Fox and Hound, Chisel and Hound, whatever that is, um, brush. Enjoy that. And our Captain's Choice Bowl. And we will finish things off today with Fine Le Orange. Uh, after shave, we're going to try to kill this bottle at some point. We're gonna bring this in when we're using orange stuff a lot and try to use some of these up, put just a little bit in there, slap it on, and we'll be off to the races. It was a great shave today. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. I hope you have the same sort of shaves today yourself. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I'm your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.